Hey everyone, it's Brianna, and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys this prom tutorial makeup, hair, and outfit, so if you would like to see how I achieved this look, then just keep watching. First, I think it's really important to have super hydrated skin. The night before, I actually used this night cream by Kenzo, it's really, really good. And then I'm also moisturizing my skin with the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream and just applying it all over my face as normal. And then for my eye cream today, I'm using this one by Kiehl's, and it has avocado in it like need I say more and then of course I'm just putting some chapstick on and then the last step in my facial prep is using a primer and this one's by makeup forever and this one's really really great for photography today something bizarre is happening I'm starting with the eyes so I'm using this concealer by amazing cosmetics just to prime my eyes and then for eyes today I'm using the modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm taking those shades right there and blending them into my crease and then also putting them on a more dense brush and applying them all over my lid. And then I decided why not try a half cut crease. So I am going in with that concealer again on a flat shader brush. Honestly, you don't have to be too precise with it because the shadow that we're applying over it is gonna cover it. Then I'm taking this Morphe 350 All Shimmer Palette and I'm taking that shade right there on a flat shader brush and applying it over where I put the concealer. I also wanted it to be a little lighter, so I'm applying those two shades on top so that it's a little bit lighter and like stands out more. And then I'm taking some makeup remover and just wiping off all the excess. I was kind of messy when I was doing the eyeshadow look, so I'm kind of just cleaning that up. And then I'm taking that white shade in this palette by Givenchy, and I'm applying that as my brow bone highlight. For foundation, this one is a staple. If you're going to prom or any special event, you absolutely must buy this. It's the Hourglass Stick Foundation, and I swear to you, it'll save your life. All I did was apply it all over my skin from the actual stick and then blend it in with the Beauty Blender. And as you can see, I'm trying to avoid applying it under my eyes, but when you apply foundation under your eyes, that's a lot of the times why your concealer will crease and you'll just have like those lines that everyone hates so try this try it and then for concealer I'm using this one by by Terry bye bye Terry <laughs> bye bye Terry <laughs> so I'm just applying it under my zombie eyes and blending it in with a beauty blender and I'm telling you that concealer works wonders I'm gonna be using a couple cream products because I like to layer products on top of each other especially when you're taking a ton of pictures that day and you know you want your makeup to last all day so I'm using this cream contour by Kevin Aquan and I'm actually applying it with this beauty blender and I'm also blending it in with the beauty blender and I'm just applying it to the places that I want to really sculpt and define and then I'm also using a cream highlighter and this one is by the Sephora brand and I'm just applying that to the beauty blender and then to my skin just I just find it works better that way so the powder I'm using is the RCMA no color powder and this powder I'm only using under my eyes and kind of like my t-zone area good if you have dry skin because I find a lot of powders just really dry out my under eyes and stuff like that and I do not like it it's not a cute look and then to set the rest of my face I'm using this powder by Becca and it kind of has a tint to it so if you are a fair girl like me I wouldn't recommend putting this under your eyes but everywhere else around your face is perfect it gives your skin such a beautiful silky look I'm obsessed with this powder and then to further define my contour I'm using this powder by hourglass which is actually like a face setting powder, but I like, you know, it's multi-purpose, whatever. So I just go over all of the places that I contoured before. My favorite, favorite part, highlighter. I'm using this one by Ofra. I believe it's called Rodeo Drive. Prettiest highlighter I own. It's my favorite one. So I'm just applying that to my cheekbones and then I'm using my finger to apply it to my nose and my cupid's bow because I want it to be so intense, like, I want that camera to really pick it up, you know what I'm saying? And then, of course, gotta do some brows. I'm using the powder side on the right of this Benefit powder. And all I'm doing is using a angled brush and um, just filling in the brows. And then to set them into place, I'm using this Glossier Boy Brow, my favorite, favorite, favorite brow setting gel. And then I'm going to just blend the eyeshadow a little more. And then I'm taking that shade from the Modern Renaissance palette 
on a brush and applying it under my eyes just to make the look glow together perfectly. And then again, I'm going in with that white shade from the Givenchy palette and I'm putting that on my inner corner. And then for mascara, I'm using my Holy Grail, which is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Love this stuff so much. And I wanted to further highlight my inner corners, so I used this ColourPop Hello Kitty eyeshadow. I think it's in the shade Juicy Apple. It's literally so pretty. And then for lips, I like to mix things and like, you know, become a scientist, you know. So the first thing I'm doing is taking this ColourPop Lippy Pencil. And I'm just lining my lips and also filling them in with the same color. I decided that I wanted it to be a little more pinky, so I'm taking this red Givenchy lipstick and just barely like blotting it on my lips and then rubbing it in with my finger So it's like kind of more of a coral color And then I decided to put liquid lipsticks on top of that because if you're gonna be wearing it for a long time Might as well wear liquid lipstick. So I'm using this one by Jeffree Star and then I decided oh I want it to be a little more brown So I'm using this one by MAC and that is it for the makeup. So for my hair today, I decided to curl it because you know what? You gotta go all out for prom. I took this curling iron. It's like one of the wand ones. Um, I'm like bad at explaining things, so please ignore me and just subscribe. <laughs> it's pretty self-explanatory. All I did was curl around the wand. I switched directions every now and then. Yeah, so that is how I curl it. It's pretty self-explanatory. And after I was done curling it, I decided to brush it out because I didn't want the curls to look too ringlety. Is that even a word? Ring like, you know what I mean. And then I used the Not Your Mother's Double Take Dry Finish Texture Spray. And basically what I did was sprayed the ends of my hair just like to hold it and like make sure the curl stays there and then I also lifted up my hair and sprayed out the roots just to give me extra volume and my goodness did I have volume and then I also decided that I wanted to pin back a little piece so I just twisted back a little piece literally simplest hair tutorial ever and of course you want to smell good on prom so I'm using this Givenchy perfume and my goodness does this smell good and then this is probably my favorite part so I'm using this loving tan bronze shimmer luminous cream it's not like a gradual tan or anything where you have to like wait for the tan to set in it goes on tan and it makes your body so luminous and tan <laughs> like it's the most beautiful product ever and with flash photography it's seriously the most stunning thing and if you want to go the extra mile you know I always do <laughs> you can also highlight your body so I was using the same highlighter I used on my face to highlight my collarbones and my little shoulders and also like all over my chest so that is it for the body tutorial <laughs> now on to my dress you guys is this not the most stunning dress ever like I wish I was going to prom this year just to wear this dress. This dress is by Sisters the Label and I believe I have a coupon code. I'll link it in the description. Girl, if you wear this to prom, you are gonna be the talk of the town. Also, both of the chokers I'm wearing from a brand called Fawnstar, F-A-W-N-S-T-A-R. And I thought it just looked really beautiful with the dress. And yeah, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch and don't forget to subscribe if you are new. I hope you guys have a lovely, lovely prom and I will see you next time.